Preparing Injectable Medicines Preparing injectable medicines correctly is key to giving babies safe and effective treatment by both IM and IV routes. This video will show how to prepare and draw up the commonly used antibiotics ampicillin and gentamicin for injection. Calculating dosages accurately takes time and good math skills. For busy health workers, using a dosage guideline saves time and reduces mistakes. Doses for babies are calculated according to the baby's weight. Start with getting an accurate weight for the sick baby. This baby weighs 3.2 kilos. Now, the baby needs her first doses of ampicillin and gentamicin. Let's start with preparing ampicillin. Always check that the expiration date has not passed. According to the dosage chart, our four-day-old 3.2 kilo baby needs one milliliter of ampicillin IM or IV every 12 hours. Now, prepare the medicine for injection. Dilute the powder by adding 2.6 milliliters of sterile water to a 500 milligram bottle of ampicillin. Using a sterile needle and syringe, draw up the 2.6 milliliters of sterile water and inject it into the bottle of ampicillin. Shake the bottle to mix the powder and water completely. Now, you're ready to draw up the medicine. First, draw up one milliliter of air equal to the volume of fluid you plan to remove from the bottle. Inject the air into the bottle. This practice makes it easier to draw the fluid out of the pressurized bottle. Turn the bottle upside down. Be sure the tip of the needle is in the fluid. Pull the plunger until you've drawn up one milliliter. Tap the syringe until all of the air bubbles rise to the top. Push the plunger in just a little until a drop appears. Now you know the needle itself is filled with fluid. Recap the needle with the one-handed method. Next, we'll prepare gentamicin. You can use either the pediatric product of 20 milligrams per two milliliters, or you will need to dilute the adult product of 80 milligrams per two milliliters. Check the dosage chart. Our four day old 3.2 kilo baby needs 1.6 milliliters of gentamicin once daily. Using the pediatric formulation, check the expiration date. Now, remove the metal cap. Using a sterile needle and syringe, draw up 1.6 milliliters of air, which is equal to the volume of fluid you plan to remove from the bottle. Inject the air into the bottle. With the tip of the needle in the fluid, pull back the plunger until you reach your dose. Tap the syringe to clear the remaining bubbles and gently push the plunger to remove the air. There's your dose of 1.6 milliliters. If you're using an ampule instead of a bottle, wrap the neck in gauze to protect your hand and snap off the top. Put the needle carefully into the opening to draw up the medicine. Now, we'll show you how to dilute the adult formulation of gentamicin. This dilution will be equal to the concentration of gentamicin in the pediatric product. To make the dilution, we take a 10 milliliter ampule of sterile water. We remove four milliliters. Now we have six milliliters of sterile water remaining. We add two milliliters of gentamicin 
giving us 8 milliliters of our diluted gentamicin. Here's how. Start with a 10 milliliter ampule of sterile water. Remove 4 milliliters and discard it. You are left with 6 milliliters of water. Then draw up the 2 milliliters of gentamicin and add it to the ampule of sterile water. Mix gently. Now you have diluted gentamicin 80 milligrams per 8 milliliters. Remember, this dilution is the same concentration as the pediatric product, so you'll draw up the same volume, 1.6 milliliters. Before giving the baby her injections, talk with the mother. Let her know that the medicine will help her baby get well quickly. Safely inject the medicine into the baby's upper outer thigh muscle. Then, dispose of the needle safely in a shop's container. Remember, use a dosage chart to give accurate dosages and save time. Get a correct weight for the baby. Follow the five rights of medicine usage. Give the right medicine at the right dose, by the right route, at the right time, to the right baby.